Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Mary from the West Dallas Public Library. Our summer reading theme this year is One World, Many Stories. At the library, you will find so many stories of adventure, mystery, suspense, humor, and wonder. You can also read about people and places from all over the world, all inside the cover of a book. Some of our friends who completed last year's program are going to share a few of their favorite books with you and tell you more about this year's summer reading program. My book is from a series of unfortunate events. It's called The Miserable Mill. In this book, three kids are sent to a lumber mill to work where they're chopping wood. In the first book, they, their parents were killed in a fire. They were sent to Count Olaf, and Count Olaf is out to get their family fortune. Sometime during your life, in fact, very soon, you may find yourself reading a book, and you may notice that the book's first sentence can often tell you what sort of story your book contains. This book begins with the sentence, the Baldari orphans looked out the grimy window of the train and glazed at the gloomy blackness of the finite forest, wondering if their lives would get any better. This is a reading record. You will get it when you sign up for summer reading anytime starting June 6th through August 27th. My book is called Warriors, Forest of Secrets by Aaron Hunter. This book is about cats who don't live with two legs, which are people. Um, there's always a leader in a clan and a deputy. There's a lot of adventure and um, I'm, sure that, I'm pretty sure that you would like this book. Fireheart's paws were furiously at the river, tossed him against the rock, driving the breath out of his body. He scrambled at the rough surface, bracing himself against the rushing water, and found himself face to face with two kits. They were crouched on a tangled mat of twigs, leaves, and two leg rubbish. The mat lurched, and their wails grew louder. Here we go, Fireheart muttered. Star Clan, help us! He pushed himself off from the rock, thrusting at the mat with his muzzle to guide it into the current. The two kids whimpered and flattened themselves against the twigs. Fireheart put every last scrap of energy into pushing the mat ahead of him with his nose and paws. He could feel exhaustion draining the strain. These are prizes you get after reading 10 books or 200 minutes. A puzzle sheet, a hot air balloon craft to make, a chance to guess at the guessing jar prize, a turn at the library fishing game, coupons to the zoo, the state fair, the public museum, the planetarium, the Pettit Ice Center, some county parks, Old World Wisconsin, and the Milwaukee Brewers. You also get a progress chart. Look, it is a map of the world. Every time you read 10 books or 200 minutes, you get, a, you get to stamp your way around the world. My name is Diary of Wimpy Kid Dog Days, and it's about a boy named Greg, and he's in middle school, and he's having a hard time with his summer because his uncle's dog named Killer eats part of his birthday cake, so he has a hard time with his um, summer and his birthday party. June Friday. For me, summer vacation is basically like a is basically like a three month guilt trip. Just because the weather's nice, everyone everyone expects you to be outside all day frolicking or whatever. And if you don't spend every second outdoors, people think there's something wrong with you. But the truth is, I've always been more of an indoor person. The way I like to spend my summer vacation is in front of the TV, playing video games with the curtains closed and the lights turned off. Unfortunately, Mom's idea of the perfect summer vacation is different from mine. You should really let some sunlight in here. Yank. Hiss. Mom says it's not natural for a kid to stay indoors when it's sunny out. I tell her I'm just trying to protect my skin so I don't look all wrinkly when I'm old like her. But she doesn't want to hear it. 
After reading 20 books or 400 minutes, you get another puzzle sheet, another guess at the guessing jar, another turn to fish for a sticker, a green globe to sign, and another packet of coupons to the Betty Byrne Museum, First Stage Theater, the Milwaukee Ballet, the Learning Shop, and the Festival City Symphony. This book is called Up Chuck and the Watch and Willy by Bill Wallace. It's about a cat named Chuck who was nicknamed Upchuck after he'd swollen up in his Ono's boyfriend's convertible. And Willie, a Rottweiler dog, whom Chuck called Watchin' Willie because that's what he originally thought he was called. The story is about how Upchuck and, and the Watchin' Willie become friends. I've never heard, heard a cat scream. I've heard cats meow, snow, hiss, spit, howl, and yowl but I've never heard a cat scream. Tom screamed. The instant he saw the colossal monster, his eyes popped wide and he screamed. He screamed when he saw him. He screamed when he spun and raced toward the tree. He screamed as he passed the branch where I sat, forcing and watching the entire scene. He never stopped screaming, not even when he raced to the top of the tree and hung, diggling by one paw from a tiny branch at the very tip. After reading 32, 90 books of 600 to 1800 minutes, we keep getting puzzle sheets. Tones at the fishing game, guesses at the guessing jar, rainbow hands to sign, and you continue stamping your way along the old map. Um, this book is called Mike's Mystery. It's about four children who is gonna solve a, who, uh, a fire who is set in Mike's house. Um, they, how they figured it out, they found a blue hat as a clue. Yellow Sands. The four Eldlin children could hardly wait to go back to the Mystery Ranch. Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny had planned for weeks what they would do. We'll go out for a dear old train, said Violet. Remember Mr. Carter who helped us carry our bags, Jesse? I'll carry the bag, shouted Benny. Mr. Carter won't be on the train this time. Maybe I'll carry some of the bags, little boy, said Henry. But you know we won't get off Centerville. Jesse nodded at her older brother. Yes, we'll get off Yellow Sands now. I think that is a beautiful name. Our aquarium fields look just like Yellow Sands. Grandfather said, Sam will meet you. Maybe Sam will carry our bags. The children laughed, fighting over old bags, said Benny. After reading 100 books or 2,000 minutes, you'll get a puzzle sheet, a guess at the guessing jar, another turn of the fishing game, a final stamp on your world math progress chart, a special tattoo, a golden globe to sign, a rubber ducky, a piece of candy, and a new paperback book to keep. The book I was I'm reading is The Boxcar Children. There's a lot of adventuring in it. Um, and they live in a box car and one day Violet got sick and they had and they did not like their grandpa and they and they didn't realize it that they had to go to their grandpa's house. One warm night the four the four children stood in front of a bakery. No one knew them. No one knew where they had came from. The bakers why I saw them first as they stood looking in the window of her store. The little boy was looking at the cakes. The big boy was looking at the loaves of bread. The two girls were looking at the cookie. This is the summer reading program schedule. There are free shows every Tuesday and every Wednesday night in July. You can see magicians, puppets, and musicians, science and nature programs, and more. Last year, over 1,500 children participated in the summer reading program, but not everyone finished. You have just seen some of our friends who completed the program. If you complete the summer reading program this year by reading 100 books or 2,000 minutes, you may have a chance at being on TV with us next year. Sign up in the Children's Department anytime between June 6th and August 27th. Then go have some fun reading this summer, and I'll see you at the library.